So we're going to talk about how to do control statements today. And so the control statements are the ways of actually deciding what and when something is going to happen when we're programming. And so we're going to use some control statements to do that. So we have NCMA Pro Project control statements right here. And again, changing our title, easy thing we can do to make our project look a little bit nicer. And so how to control. Now, we're going to make this really easy. We're going to throw a button on here, and we'll throw another button on here. And now, button one is a bad name for a button. Why is button one a bad name? It doesn't say what it is or what it does. Very good. And so this button is going to change the background. Our built-in, and we're going to be looking at control statements. And if we look at our control statements, we have a couple different things in here. We have if, test then do. We have if else, test then do else do. And we have our choose, our for each, our for range, our while, and then we have our other screen sections. So for this first part that we're going to be working with is we're going to be working with the if and the if else. And so when our change background button dot click, we're going to change the background color of our device. And so we want to go ahead and go to our control, and we're going to go first with our uh, control, we're going to do just a regular if. So if, and we'll put a test in there. The test on an if is going to be, it's checking to see if something is there or not. And we have, this should return a true or a false value. Background color to magenta. Okay, change the background color. Magenta. I click on it, and it is always going to be magenta. Now, if I go ahead and click right here and do false, it still will do nothing. Why? There's no else statement. So if it fails the test, it doesn't do anything. So an if test, an if block, or an if control structure, if there is not an else, it just does that. And if it fails the test, it does nothing. We have nothing else to happen. And so an if is generally only used for a single, there's only one possible choice. But in real life, there's usually at least two choices. And so this is why we would usually use the if else control statement. Or if else block. So if else right here, we'll go ahead and drag that in there. We'll plug it into the box. And if I do... If true, background color magenta, else, set it to black. Oh, thank you. Put that in else. There we go. So if true, magenta, else, black. Still always magenta because it's always, be it's always true. So what we generally want to do is not just test to see if it is true, but rather if something is true. So now it's always going to be black because it's always false. So this is the dumb way to do it. We don't want to just put a value. We want to put an actual test in or a condition. So a test in programming is also referred to as a condition. So, our test or our condition for this, so if the background color is black, or um, we can make it magenta, otherwise we'll make it black. So let's try that. So I go to my, my blocks, I go to screen one, and I get my background color. Screen background color is black. then we'll have it be magenta. If it's not black, it will be black. If it's black, it goes magenta. Is it black? No, it goes black. So we're using a control structure or a control statement. 
So if else, and so it has a test, is the color black? It, it uh, passes the test, so I do my then do. And so I, what happens on my then do? It sets the color to magenta. I fail the test, it would go to black. It passes the test, so it's going to go magenta. It fails the test, it's going to go black. Control statements can be nested. So I'm going to take this if else. And so if the background color right here is not black, but if the color is cyan, then we set the color to dark gray. Else, we set it to cyan. And so, if the color is black, we'll set it to magenta. Else, if the color is cyan, we set it to dark gray. Else, then, we set it to cyan. So it's, yeah, so I have an if else inside. It's called nesting. So first I check to see if it's black. It is. So what's going to happen? Magenta. Okay, now I'm going to click on it. Is it black? No. Is it cyan? No. No. So what color should it go? All right. We had just clicked the button, and it was magenta, and it went cyan. Why? When it was magenta, I clicked on it. The first test that happens, is the screen color black? It, it was, then it was well, right, no, so it's, it's magenta. I click on it. Is it black? No. No, so it fails this test. So because it fails the test, I never. if I fail the test, I never, ever do it in the then do section. So if you fail the test, you do none of this. So I go down to else do. As soon as you fail, you automatically jump to else. Oh, the first thing in else is a new if else test. Okay, so what's another word for test? Condition. So what is the condition? Is my screen background color cyan? No, because it's magenta. So it's going to do what to this test? It's going to fail. So since it fails, it's not going to go dark gray. It's going to go cyan. And so now that I've um, it's cyan, I click on it. What color will it be? Dark gray. Who said black? I heard black from someone. Okay, Kyle. Do we ever have a screen one dot set background color to black? No, we have it down here, but it's never been touched, so it's never going to happen. So we're going to click on this, and we're, it's going to set it to dark gray. And if I click on it again, it's going to go cyan, and it's never going to go back to magenta or black ever again. They're, they are going to feel left out. That's awfully sad. <laughs> now, going back to where we were, let's look at our code now. If it's black, I set it magenta. Else, it goes black. Then... If it's cyan, it goes dark gray, else it goes cyan. So I'm going to click on this. Why is it going to cyan? What, what's happening if we go really, really slow through this? Is it, first thing it does is it check, is it black? No, it's not black. It's not black. So, since it's not black, it gets changed to black. 
And then we check, is it cyan? No, because it's it's black. <laughs> No, because... Why, why don't we see the black? Because it's doing all those at the same time. It's doing it at the same time. It's going faster. We can see it happen. Not really, but what we can do is we can have something pause our screen. Like, just run a bunch of apps in the background. That'll light everything up. No, we'll do, it's even cooler. Then we're going to introduce that next part, that notifier. So let's go back to our code blocks, our design window, excuse me. And we're going to do it now to our other stuff section. I have my change notifier. And my, my change notifier, I have some actions. And then look at this. I have a bunch of methods it'll do. And so I can show a message to my screen. And so I'm going to call change text notifier dot show text dialog and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it pause this this and show a little pop-up screen and so we're going to do this by doing some text so because if the color is not black it's gonna go black. black so here's my emulator I'm gonna go ahead and click on it the color just changed when we use the control statements like this it happens in sequence and so we don't often see the results of that so it goes this then this and because the computer processes so quickly we don't ever see the background color black it just immediately changes it to cyan and so we don't see the results on that and so if we want to do lots of tests in a row generally we're going to use a nested test and we nest another control statement of if else inside the else and then finally as our default that last else would be the going to black so is it black yes then it goes magenta else is it cyan make it dark gray else is it dark gray make it orange else if it's orange make it green else if it's this make it that else if it's just else black so that else is the very last case and you can only hit an else if you do what you can only get to an else if you fail so else's are only for failing is it failing bad necessarily no it's just that's the that's the only condition you can have so now with this if it's black it'll be pink if it's cyan it'll be dark gray if it's dark gray, it'll be cyan. We'll have it be magenta. And so that magenta will, never, will only happen if it's black. So we'll cycle through colors now. Black, pink, black, pink. We're stuck now. So we were able to get out of it first. But then, so is it uh, magenta? No. Or is it black? No. So is it cyan? No. Is it dark gray? No. So it goes back to black, means it goes magenta. And it'll, at that point, it'll, it'll test all those things and go back through. And so we want to have that test be something you can execute all the way through. Does that if else control structure make sense? So if you pass a test, you do the then. If you fail the test, you do the else. Pass, you do the then. Fail, you do the Can you get to the else if you pass? No. Very good. And the notifier, what does it do? Gives you a quick little message. You can have dialogue happen with it. So our notifier, and we can get met, we can have after that text input, so if we, on that one where we have the text, on the show text dialogue, you can have stuff happen with it. Is that what, what that one was? After you choose a choice, so there's a choice one, and that's the uh, show choose dialog, which is this one down here. And you have choose one or choose two. And so it's like, do you want to do this or do you want to do that? And then it'll have what are the op options to do based on those choices.